Hey, and welcome to the Tech Enthusiast channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can get Windows 10 taskbar on Windows 11. And additionally, you will also get Windows 10 start menu on Windows 11, which looks just like this. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So to change the look of the Windows 11 taskbar as well as Windows 11 start menu, we will need to install a third party application. The application is actually called Explorer Patcher. This app actually got updated quite recently. The really cool thing is that this application just added support for the ARM64 devices. So for example, if you are using the brand new Surface devices with Snapdragon X Elite and Plus processors, then you can use this application as well. But this app was only tested on 24H2 builds of Windows 11. However, I also tested this exact application with ARM processor on much older release of Windows 11. To be exact, if I go here to the settings, I can just show you that we are indeed running Windows 11 on ARM based processor. So this is basically my virtual machine. And here down below, we can see the version of Windows, which is 23 H2. And I also tested this app on this older version of Windows and it works just fine. So right now, let me show you how to install it. The process is very, very simple. So make sure that you guys go to this link, which I will put in the video description right below the like button. And once you're here, you will navigate down below here. One thing which I also should mention is that you can also use this application on Intel processors as well as on AMD processors processors. Here down below, you will just need to download this one. And if you have Snapdragon processor or ARM based virtual machine, you will have to download this version, which I'm going to do so by clicking on it and you will get this exe file, which I'm going to save inside the downloads folder. And now I will just navigate to the downloads folder where I will find this .exe file. I will double left click on it and click on more info here. If you have this pop up as well, well, just click on more information and then click on run anyway, and then just repeat the same process for another pop-up and click on yes on the admin prompt. Now the file explorer should restart. And if nothing actually happens, you will see that you get this notification. I will just wait for a bit to download the symbols for this operating system. And meanwhile, this is doing its thing. If you guys are interested in this exact wallpaper and many other others. I recently made a brand new wallpaper pack. So if you are interested, make sure that you check it out by clicking the first link in the video description. You can see that nothing actually happened inside taskbar as well as for the start menu. So we can fix that by opening the start menu here and you can go here to all apps. And here down below, you'll find a brand new app called properties for explore patcher. Now I will click on this here and you should see that we have right now this program up and running. And here we can change the taskbar style. Here at the top, this is the most important setting, by the way, you can click on Windows 10, which is set by default. So nothing really changed. And you will have to change this to Windows 10 Explorer Patcher. Now, if you click on this, you will now go down to the restart file Explorer. So you will click on this here. And right now you should immediately see a change on your Windows taskbar. You can already see that we have this kind of Windows 10 taskbar on Windows 11. However, if I click here on the start menu, the start menu still pops up on the middle of the screen. So what you will do, you'll basically go here to the start menu here on the third setting here called position on the screen, you'll change this to the at screen Edge. And right now, if you go here to the start menu, you should see this kind of start menu. However, you can also change the look of the start menu. So if you go here on top, you will see start menu style option. You can click on this and I will select here Windows 10. Now, I think we will still need to restart the file explorer. So just in case, I'll just do that right here. And here you will see brand new start menu from Windows 10 on Windows 11. Now we can also change the style of start menu. You can just go here to the corner preference. And here I will click on rounded corners and floating menu. And if I go right now to the start menu, you can see that this has really nice look to it with rounded corners as well as this gap. But 
between the start menu as well as the taskbar. Now here you can also change a few of the settings as well. For example, you can change the app list mode. So here it's currently set to display. App list is basically this setting right here. So this is the app list. You can even hide it or also disable it. So if I click on the hide and click yes on the admin prompt, you will see here that we have only the tiles on the first page and you can go here to all apps list and you will find them all here, which is really, really cool. Now you can also do a few of the things with this program as well. For example, you can go here to the file explorer and change a few of the settings here. But one which I also recommend is here in the taskbar, you can change the start button style to Windows 11 if you want to. You'll have to restart the file explorer just like this and you will have the Windows 11 icon for the start menu. However, I do must say that I prefer the Windows 10 style for the start menu icon. I'll show you just one more thing which is also very important. How you can basically pin the applications inside the start menu. It actually doesn't work the same as you would do for the regular Windows 11 start menu how you can basically pin the applications right here. It's very, very simple. For example, if you search for, let's say, Firefox, you'll have to go to this application and then you will go to open file location. Here you will see some of the pre-made shortcuts. For example, for this Firefox, I will right click on it and here I will click pin to the start. And right now you should see this brand new icon, which you can also rearrange and stuff like that. And you can also pin the folders. For example, if I pin the download, folder just like this. You will find it right here down below. And this is how pinning works for this start menu. One thing which is also very important that this explorer patcher is actually a standalone application. So you can just easily uninstall it if you don't want to use it anymore. Here if you navigate to the start menu you can just go to the settings here just like so. And then if you navigate here to the apps you can go to the installed apps and and here you'll find the explorer patcher. So if you don't want to use it anymore, just click here on the three dots and you can just uninstall it just like so. So yeah, I think this is pretty much it for this exact video. If you got the value from it, I think it's the right thing to do to smash up the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you of course haven't already. And if you want to check out this wallpaper and many others inside the brand new wallpaper pack, then make sure that you click the first link in the video description right below the like button. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.